I'm just gonna put this out there. This is the Walmart version of Kim's dress. <laughs> What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. For today's video, as you guys can tell by the title, we have yet another celebrity dress remakes video. If you guys haven't seen my previous video where I tried out Kylie Jenner remakes, then I'll link it in the eye as well as the description. But for today's video, we are trying out some Kim Kardashian dress remakes, which I'm so excited to try out. Just like in the last video, I am trying these dresses from a website called AliExpress. If you guys haven't heard of it, it's basically a Chinese website that's a little bit like Wish. So in this bag, I have all the different remakes of dresses that Kim Kardashian has worn that has definitely inspired a lot of people. If you guys are brand new here and you guys haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Roxy, welcome to my channel. If you guys wanna stick around, make sure you guys subscribe down below. Also, before we jump straight into the video, I'm holding a massive giveaway of Revolution products over on my Instagram. So if you guys wanna check that out and enter the giveaway, make sure you guys head over to my Instagram, at Roxoras. But I guess without further ado, let's get on into the video. All right, so here is my bag of goodies that I'm trying out for you guys today. I'm actually really impressed that they have managed to fit all the dresses in a tiny little bag like this. So I guess we'll see what's inside. All right, so the first dress I see, oh my God, I am so excited. Now the ironic part of this dress is that Kim actually posted this on her Instagram from like a fitting that she was doing and the caption literally said something along the lines of, can't wait for this design to get ripped off by all the fast fashion retailers. And um, let's just say, a lot of retailers definitely jumped on that and they were just working harder than the devil. That post is quite old now, so to be honest, I feel like AliExpress definitely had a lot of time to try and make something that was similar. I'm not sure who the original like designer was that made this dress, but AliExpress delivered a very affordable version. So let's crack this open and see what it's like. To be honest, the design of the dress is very simple. It's just the fact that it was this gold metallic kind of fabric. Oh my Lord. So it actually comes in two separate pieces. Pieces. I did not see that coming. I thought this was gonna be one piece. Anyways, here is the bodysuit. So it's got that signature sort of cutout, which is what really makes this iconic. I feel like anyone that follows Kim on Instagram will just be able to recognize this outfit straight away, just from the cutout. And then this is the bottom part, which is just kind of like the maxi skirt of it. It's got that sort of tie crossover sort of effect, which I really, really like. The fabric. I'm just gonna spill the tea. It does kind of smell a bit weird. It smells a bit funky, I don't know why. I feel like a lot of these um, AliExpress kind of remakes tend to smell a little bit strange, but I feel like if you just pop it through the wash, it's gonna be fine. But yeah, the overall like quality of it, I mean, the skirt looks a little bit tacky in my opinion. Maybe it's just the fact that it's super creased, but the bodysuit, isn't so bad, I guess. I mean, I'm sure once it's on, all the sort of creases are gonna stretch out. So yeah, let's go try this outfit on and see if it looks as good on me as it did on Kim, although I highly doubt that. All right guys, so here is the very first dress and what it looks like on. I've gotta say, I thought it would fit just a little bit better around the chest. It looked very spacious, but now that I've got it on, this part here actually rises up quite a bit. And although I feel like Kim's original dress wasn't exactly meant to show your under boob, this one is kind of designed to do that. This is why I'm wearing a bra underneath and that's why you can kind of see the edge of my bra wiring right there. It is a bit of a shame though, because the actual bodysuit is a little bit short, so I couldn't even like clasp it at the bottom between my legs. Now I would say I have quite a short torso anyway, so I thought that this was gonna fit me, but it really doesn't. But anyways, this is how the whole dress looks. I'm not gonna lie, I actually feel like the top half, even though it doesn't really fit perfectly, it looks a lot better than the bottom. I feel like just because there's so much like pressure pulling the fabric apart, it actually looks pretty decent. But on the skirt, there isn't really anything sort of pulling it apart, so it kind of all looks a little bit wrinkly. I'm just gonna put this out there. This is the Walmart version of Kim's dress. <laughs> I've gotta say though, the actual design and the overall overall like shape of this outfit is exactly the same as Kim's. Perhaps the skirt is a little bit shorter than her original one, but it does have that same slit and it does have that same sort of like crossover effect. It is just a bit of a shame about the bra sort of area. It just doesn't fit perfectly, but the cutout is actually a really nice size. I love that little slither of skin. I just feel like it breaks up the outfit. So what do we think of this outfit? Does it compare to the one that Kim was wearing? I feel like they were along the right kind of lines, but but the fit of it just really lets it down, so I'm kind of disappointed. <laughs> However, in terms of the replica, does it look like Kim's dress? I would say it does, so I'm gonna give this like a seven out of 10. All right, guys, the next dress I have 
is this right here. Again, I feel like this is a pretty iconic dress that Kim has worn not that long ago, I'm pretty sure. I'll pop a photo of the original dress on screen right now so you guys can see what it looked like. And then this is the remake. I actually really like the colors of this dress. You guys know that this sort of color scheme is very up my street because I love beiges, I love browns, just like earthy neutral colors. So this is the dress, oh my lord. It is so cute. I must say, I have a feeling it's gonna be very sheer. It hasn't really got like a nude panel underneath where like the boobs sit and even the crotch, which I kind of was expecting. A lot of the time, sheer dresses will have like a um, nude sort of underlayer that you can't really see just to kind of protect your modesty. But this one does not. So I'm excited to try this. It is also very long. It goes all the way down to the floor and it has got a little slit at the back. The fabric actually feels really nice. I was honestly expecting this sheer mesh kind of fabric to be almost a little bit scratchy and just uncomfortable, but it feels really nice to the touch. Also, the good news is this dress does have a zipper that goes fairly long and then it is also very stretchy in terms of the fabric. So I guess let's just pop this on and compare. I'm really excited for this one. Okay, guys, I'm sorry, but this dress is honestly everything. Look at this. Look at the curves it's actually giving me. And I feel like it's all down to the illusion of this fabric. Cause as you guys can see, like the lines kind of come out and they go back in and this, and I just love the actual pattern of the dress itself. I just looked at the photo of Kim's dress and honestly, I feel like it is so similar. It is pretty much exact. This is such a good replica, you guys. What I find funny about this dress is that it has like a little outline of a belly button and it just happens to be in the exact spot where my belly button actually is. I think that's pretty cray cray, but then again, I get amused by like the silliest of things. Also, I just want to say the sleeves are like the perfect length and actually I'm wearing just a nude bra underneath with some like little nude shorts under this dress and I feel like you can't actually see anything like it's not see-through as I suspected. I also really like the fact that even though this is a dress, it kind of looks like a bodysuit a little bit or like a jumpsuit just because it has like this really thick line going down the middle. So when I do that, doesn't it kind of look like it's a jumpsuit? Also, this is what the dress looks like from the back. It's still got all those really cool patterns at the back of the dress as well. I just think visually this is a very flattering dress for a body because of all the sort of like illusions with the lines. So I really, really rate this. I'm actually going to give it a 10 out of 10, you guys. I really don't give out 10s very often, but this really deserves it. All right, guys. So this is the next outfit. Now I'm pretty sure this is a two piece. It's basically like a little crop top tank with a midi kind of skirt. I'm pretty sure that this is a Yeezy remake. I'm not sure by 100%, so don't quote me on it, but I'm pretty sure that Kim was wearing Yeezy in this outfit photo. So here it is. It is actually very simple. Oh my gosh, look, it's just a little gray crop top, kind of like a little tank top, but cropped. And then the actual skirt is this. Okay, so it's got quite a thick band at the top. It looks like it's gonna be quite cinched in, so that's good. And then it does kind of have like a little outline of the hips to kind of give it a little bit more shape. I just feel like this is a really cute but basic outfit. Outfit. I feel like Kim has really kind of learned the power of less is more. So she is definitely sporting a lot of like basic pieces like this throughout the last couple of years, which I am living for. It just makes it a little bit more realistic for people like us to kind of recreate her outfits and just, you know, be inspired by celebrity fashion because a lot of the time when they wear like super extravagant dresses, you can't exactly do anything with that. But with this, I feel like a lot of girls could just wear this out and about to most occasions and be still really comfortable. So I guess let's pop this one on, see if it's comfortable and see how it compares to the original. So here is the two piece and oh my gosh, it fits so well. It literally fits like a glove. There's nothing that I can fault about this, like genuinely. I thought that the crop top may be a little bit short, but no, it actually covers me up and I'm wearing a bra underneath, so that's amazing. The skirt just feels so nice. It feels like it's really body hugging. It's really like cinching me in and I love the fact that it's got the thick band. I mean, look how stretchy this is. This is like a comfortable but cute kind of outfit. Like I can get on board with this. This is the length of the midi skirt. I feel like it's a pretty good length. It still shows a bit of leg, so it kind of doesn't make you look really, really short. In all honesty, I'm just obsessed with this color. I just think it's a very unusual color that you don't really see that often in shops. It's kind of like that perfect tone between gray and blue. I just love it so much. And again, I feel like this is a perfect replica of Kim's outfit. She literally killed it in that outfit. I am honestly really, really happy with this outfit.
outfit. I am gonna give this again a 10 out of 10. All right, guys, so the last dress I have here is actually just this little yellow number. Now, I'm not sure what occasion Kim was wearing this dress to. Maybe it was like a birthday party of some kind, but I will pop a photo on screen of her wearing this dress. I just thought it was a little bit different for her. Like, she doesn't really wear colors like this a lot. So when I saw a remake of this on AliExpress, I just had to pick it up just to see what it was like. Again, it's a very basic kind of dress. It's just a little bodycon tank kind of dress. It actually has these little buckle details. Let's see if that looks similar to hers. All right, so this is the little detail that we have on the straps. It's actually quite well made, surprisingly. It doesn't feel like it's gonna fall apart any minute, so that's great. I actually feel like they are quite similar to the buckles on the dress as well. They just have like little fake diamantes inside too. The straps are not adjustable, sadly, but hopefully it's gonna be like the right kind of length. It's not gonna sit too low or too high. This is basically how the dress naturally hangs. So again, you can see it's kind of got that sort of hourglass outline, which I like because I just feel like when it has that, it really helps to shape your natural body and just make it look even better than it would if it was just like a straight down piece of fabric. So yeah, this is definitely a really nice find. And I've got to say the quality feels really nice. Like the fabric feels quite soft and silky. I can't say this is my favorite color either, but I am willing to give it a go. So let's pop it on and see how it looks. So here is the yellow number. I actually really like this at a first glance. I think it fits really nicely. It's got really good shape, but the only thing is I really badly wish that the straps were adjustable because they are kind of long and they're just kind of like falling down, which kind of pulls the whole dress down as well. The actual buckles on the straps are fine. They don't really cause any problems, but it's just the fact that the straps are a little bit loose. Like, look at this. They're so loose. I just can't deal with it. Also the underneath of this sort of section, there's like a double layer of fabric. Can you guys see this? Um, so as the dress kind of falls down, this sort of fabric keeps coming up, which is also very annoying because it just makes the whole neckline look really messy. I feel like the straps are an easy fix though. You could just shorten them if you're good at sewing. But yeah, overall this dress is fine. The fabric feels nice. It doesn't feel itchy or anything. And it also has a lot of give. So the fabric is quite stretchy as you guys can see. This is what the dress looks like from the back as well. Now in terms of the actual replica of the original dress, I would say Say these are very very similar I feel like this dress wouldn't be that hard to replicate because it is literally just a simple bodycon dress there's not that much to it now regardless of the straps I think I'm gonna give this like a 8 out of 10 because I still feel like it's a really nice fitted dress all right guys so those were the Kim Kardashian dress remakes from AliExpress I hope you guys enjoyed this video and just got to see what kind of remakes you can get on AliExpress I feel like it's one of those like taboo sort of websites some people swear by it some people are kind of just saying it's a bit dodgy and you can kind of get ripped off on it sometimes. But personally for me, I've had a pretty good experience with it so far. I mean, buying the Kylie stuff didn't have any issues. I mean, some of it didn't fit perfectly, but I've never been like scammed on it or anything. So it's all good for now. Out of all the dresses, I think my favorite one is actually the brown one. I just love the detailing of it. I love the shape that it gives and it was really cozy. Let me know down below in the comments which one of these dresses was your favorite. And also if you would like me to do any other selections celebrity dress remake testing videos, then let me know in the comments who you would like me to basically review dresses of next. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that huge thumbs up down below. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And also be sure to check out my giveaway over on my Instagram at Roxoras. But that is all from me. Thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Mwah.